coffee. Stanley, go get my coffee, please. You're so much nicer cool. than RJ. <laughs> All right, get ready to fly the test, would you? All right, go ahead, start the intro. I can make Hi, I'm Brad Stanley. I will be your host today, since the other gift balls skipped out. No, let's welcome to the Straw Family Farm. Welcome to the Straw Family Farm. I will be your host today. Since I'm the other Stanley. Year I'm Stanley. If you haven't figured that out by now. And we're Stanley from Willow Creek Homestead. Willow Creek Homestead. That's right. He leaves Monday, doesn't he? Yep. So I'm only in charge for a day. Well, are you going to show us it? Well, we'll wait till we get we'll to it. Yeah. Okay, so, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm Stanley. And you are? I'm me on. RJ Goofball. Okay, and I didn't do my hair this morning, so it's like every which way. No, when, this should be every which way. Well, you just hold it up there, Dan. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> All right, start it. <sighs> my windblown look. All right, this is weekly update 150. It's on the top of the header. It is. That it is, because I have no clue today. All right, so enough of the goofball stuff. One of your minutes wasted. All right, in the barn stalls. What, what all's been going on? We've wasted a minute and a half. Whatever. What all's been going on? Um, okay, so. Some stuff. Murphy got a bigger pen. Yep. Gray. Our granny, the, the outside horse, went home because she pulled a muscle or something and has to go to the vet and all that stuff, right? Um, the lady didn't have shoes on her. She's got a crack on her foot, which might be making her a little sore. We're not really sure, so um, she is going to... Oh, my gosh, my hair is terrible. She is going home to um, be, looked at. be vetted and looked at, right? And Precious still hasn't come home. Right? So the lady, we're thinking the lady is really liking her. Correct? Yep. All right. Anything else going on in the barn stalls? Mm. Really not. I mean, Murphy's out. Oh, yes. It, well, Murphy's out, but what's with Patch? Let's go there. Patch has a limp. Why? We don't know. Oh, why do you think? Um... She slipped or something. We're not 100% sure. It's on the same leg that uh, Knight has. Yep. And he is a big boy. And if he tried to mount her or whatever, um, he mounts him a little bit differently than a normal sheep because of his bum leg from being attacked by a dog. So um, he could have hurt, done something. So we removed her from the breeding pen. Yep. That means she may or may not be bred. Um, I meant to have enough. That is with my hair. God, it's everywhere. Uh, may or may not be bred for this year. If she's not, she's not. If she is, she is. Not a big deal, is it? Right. All right. Anything else in the barn stalls? No. You've been riding whiskey. Yeah. Star has been put back on groundwork because I don't think she's been worked with a bit in the time that we had that she was away. So you were doing what with her? Groundwork, trying to get her to respond better. What does that mean? You put on a bridle and put the bit in her mouth and then drive her with the bit so that she can figure out what those things mean, correct? Yep. Um, right now she has right and left down pretty good, right? Yep. And how about backing up? Yeah, she's getting there. Okay. So, um, but pretty and much. It's $2.25. Will you quit playing in the money box? All right. Anyway, anything else in the barn store? Are you gonna talk about the ones in there? No, we'll wait till the end. We'll wait. Okay. Um. That's more of on the porch, so in the farmhouse. In probably. the farmhouse, probably. Okay. What is up next? We don't mending know. Mending fences. Mending fences. We've been building a lot of that. <laughs> yes, we've actually been mending fences. Okay, so. Um, we're getting ready for winter. Everybody that follows us pretty much knows. And if you're new, you just don't know. October is what we call our work month. Um, we're open to the public until um, the end of September. And then after that, we switch to winter hours, which is by appointment only. Um, in October, we take n we try not to take any. 
and that's because we repair things, add to things, just spruce up the farm, and we're getting ready for winter. Um, that's also when we start our breeding season. So um, this year we started it a little bit differently. You can learn about that weeks past. Oh my gosh, my hair is driving me crazy. Uh, Quit looking at it. I can't help it because I look straight at the computer and I just keep going, oh my god. Do what I do. It's like the worst. Just mess around. Give me a hat. Yeah, give me a hat. Okay. Now I'm good, right? Now I look beautiful. Well, that back here still looks hideous. Hey! But nobody can see it because it's behind me. Hmm. Yeah, you want your hat back. There you go. Alright. Anyway. I'm cool now. We are what we are. Okay? The wind is blowing is part of our problem. Correct. I am cool now, man. Mm-hmm. Alright, so... Mending fences, what all would we get done? Start out with the horse runs. What did we get done up there? We fenced that off. We fenced off the horse runs and got everything done except for the gate and the stalls built. So, um, it's got the, when the stalls go in, we'll also have our chute for working with sheep. And we'll explain that later in another video when we get it all done and you get to actually see it. Right? Yep. Um, then we fenced between, or we built fence between the barn and the calf shed. And I have some uh, video that I'm going to pop in right here of why it was built. Okay, RJ. So after all of our hard work yesterday, what's going on today? Murphy got turned out. Murphy got turned out. All right, so we divided. This pasture, if you follow us, there's a, a separate video about our fencing day, and it'll probably go up after this one, just because I haven't gotten it edited. Edited? Is that a word?
This here is just to show you how much rain we got. This was all grass yesterday. Um, and we just marked. No penny rolls. No penny rolls. Okay, so. For the record. You have I know. No I have not gone and gotten any rolls for anything. Anyway, that was built for Murphy. And he now has um, a little shelter to get out from underneath the weather. He was in there um, during the storm last night. Mm -hmm. um, he will be fed in there. He will have. we got to find a, a hay feeder, which I think I'm going to take the one out of the sheep stall because. Um, the sheep that are in there are eating out of the big crate. So, look at um, them. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't you dare. Um, anyway, um, I think I'm going to take that one and put it out there so that he's got hay. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll fit underneath the back of the roof so that he'll have dry hay for the winter. Correct. Yep. So we'll put that in there. We're going to try it today and see what we can get done. RJ was supposed to be at work today, but because of the rain, that didn't happen, did it? No. So he's got to work tomorrow. Um, Somebody on the has to do something. Yeah, like I don't do anything. All right, so those got divided. We got two new strands of barbed wire. Well, one was put up last week, and then we put a second one down. And then closer to spring, we're going to do two, much, two more and have four brand new strands down through there. Um, RJ wants five, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but And we even made a fencing video, so that will go up after this one. So I have two videos that I need to edit so and get up, but they'll go up after this, probably tomorrow. Right? Yep. So, anything else we did? Oh, we set another post because we figured out back when we first got the goat and sheep and stuff and we needed more pasture and we divided the big pasture. They actually had fencing materials. What do you mean? We actually had panels laying around. Yeah. Uh, back then we had stuff that Harry and Betty and all them had left here. And I was using it up. And we built... Three, how many yards do you think? How many feet do you think out there? We built 300 feet. At least 300 feet out of cattle panels. Yeah. And it's just because we had them laying around. There's about 20 panels across there. But here's the thing. is We've decided we're going to take them down. Put up what was left of the woven wire from where we've divided the others. And we can use those panels to repair the other pin that I was going to have to buy cattle panels to fix. So that saved us quite a bit because around here cattle panels run about 20 bucks. And how many did I need? I don't know, like 10. No, it was only like 6. 6, I think. So that's like 120 bucks. That's like more than my water bill, more than my electric bill. Um, People in California are going, I know. man, that's cheap. <laughs> I know. People in New York are going, man, that's cheap. But our electric bill normally runs about 60 bucks, um, except for in the summer when we have air conditioning going. But remember, we don't have central heat and air. It gets cheaper in the winter. Yes, we don't have central heat and air. That looks horrible. Oh, well. You're just going to have to deal with my awful hair today. <laughs> Too bad hair day. It is because the wind. Um. Hey, how many sentences do you have? You have no sense. 
There's five in every stack. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's 60. I know, I need a penny roll, sorry. Yes, you do. Um, well, here's Guys, if you have penny rolls out there, mail me one. Just one. <laughs> Just one. That's all I need. Anyway. Go far. Anyway, so we put in the wooden post for that section of fence. Now, how did I end up with the wooden post and the extra concrete? Most. Quiet, please. Thank you. Um, how did I end up with that post? Um, neither one of us can count. Pretty much. I knew how many posts I needed to tie off to and put up gates, and then we forgot that we were going to tie off to the Kef shed out there. So I ended up buying a post, thinking I need one for each end and one for the thing. Well, that's four. Well, but we tie off to where we already had a post set, so I didn't need that one, but then we turned around and did the pasture one, so you did yeah, need that one. I did need that one, but it'll all come together a lot better, huh, son? Yep. Anything else? Pretty much just fencing and building the new pens, um, which are not pens. We're just dividing pasture, correct? Yep. So it will help with rotational grazing, and it helps Murphy get out of that little thing he was in that was supposed to be temporary anyway, right? Yep. So, anything else? Nope, we're done. Bye, All right. see ya. No, we're not. Not done like that. We're done with mending fences. In the yarn farm, I have a fleece washing. I haven't really gotten a whole lot of yarn in that done. In October, we don't do visits. Oh, we are doing the, every Tuesday in November, we're doing a craft Tuesday. It's a kids, cool, it's a kids country craft um, workshop. We're going to do a little mini workshop included with your farm visit. So if you come between 1230 and 1:30, you get to do a wooden craft. And we're not talking paper plate crafts. We're going to do some wooden block ornaments. We're going to do some wooden personalized magnets. Um, what was some of the others? We're going to do some needle felting. Um, what were the others? I don't remember. I have a list, but we're going to make up little kits and then they're going to, I've got a huge bar out in the um, kitchen. And so we're going to use that as our inside area and we're going to do the craft there and then they can go out the back door and do a farm visit. And that's included in the regular admission, but this time a parent gets in free, right? Because we want a parent to be able to do the craft with a child. So, and I even made a flyer. Um, I will take it up to where our homeschool uh, group meets, and I'm going to email it to the other homeschool group that is west of us. So there's one north of us and one west of us, and that'll that'll work, right? So, um, anything else going on in the yard farm? Uh -uh. He's cleaning out his pockets. Seriously. Uh -huh. All right. What's up next? In the field. Oh, yes. I get to do. Oh, I love this. Okay. So, you've heard talk about I've got this wonderful trellis system that we're going to build. And it's not our original idea. We've said that a hundred times. But... I ordered my parts. So I ordered eight of these. Now we're doing <clears throat> two separate trellises. The Straw Family Farmer has decided that we are going to um, do a trellis system and donate it to the community garden. And that started because the first thing I've ordered is this. The other and I'll tell you about these here in a second. The other part is a conduit, and it's really inexpensive. But it was going to cost me more in shipping and handling than the parts for their thing. Because if I ordered theirs online, I got free shipping and handling. So, <laughs> this sounds terrible. <laughs> I'm donating to save money. Um, it was actually cheaper than the shipping and handling just to up it to eight pieces. So we got 
eight of these and eight of these. Now, um, this is one inch and we're going to use three quarter inch conduit. And the reason that it's going to work, it's not going to be a perfect fit. The conduit will be a little bit is because these screw in and will screw into and tighten down on that bar just enough that it'll work. I traded in all of my pennies, nickels, and nuts for quarters. Thanks. Um, anyway, so. On the bright side, now we need two penny rules. Two. Yeah. So. Okay, so this is the corner, okay, obviously, and it's pretty much a cube. This is a corner. It's going to be. Okay, no, this is a corner of the trellis. Um, it's going to be 10 foot wide and six and a half foot tall or something. Anyway, it gives us the width is going to be the extra that we cut off of the 10 foot um, things. And we're going to use those as side bars. So we'll have, I think we figured out it would be three and a half foot wide or three foot wide. Which is enough. It's just enough to keep weeds and everything past, um, mm -hmm. so you can get in there and, and weed. It's not like you know. So you'll have a ten foot section here and a ten foot section here, and this will be in between. Now this will go on the conduit, and it'll have a bar that goes across here, and it will adjust. And that's why these will it'll adjust up and down so that as your vines grow, if you need to tighten it, you can kind of move it up and down. So it's amazing. Um, in this frame, then you use string to come down. And I'll show you how I'm doing it. Um, it is Asian Garden to Table on YouTube. And it's Asian Garden and then the number two table. And look in her trellis thing. We're going to do the concrete blocks as anchors so that we can take it down and remove it um, in different seasons if we wanted to. And uh, the garden is also going to do theirs that same way. So we're making a 10-foot double-sided trellis for them. And, and we'll do it. But I got my parts. And ordering her parts put us up over the $100 mark. So I got free shipping and handling. So we went ahead and ordered hers too. Lee and RJ and I talked about it. And pretty much um, this is a lot for us to do. But it turns out to be what I say a... Uh, $90 donation. So less than $100 that we're donating to our community garden for a lasting impact. Um, I know $100 is not a lot to other people. And they're like, that's nothing. For us, you just got done hearing me say that's my, you know, more than my electric bill, way more than my water bill. That's probably two months of my water bill. Um, almost two months of the electric bill. So it, it is what it is, but we feel that it, it would be a great lasting impact, correct? Yep. So we've decided we're going to donate that to them. Um, they've done a lot for us um, with the Know Your Farmer program, and so that's how we're going to give back. We're not going to build it, though. I'll go show her how to put it together, but I'm not building it. <laughs> and she told us she would get us a little plaque that says, you know, sponsored by the Straw Family Farm. So that's a good thing, too, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um. I think that's all for in the gardens. I went out and, oh, I moved the strawberries over into the other bed. So we've got tubs that will move down to the herb garden. The time is coming back, but I don't know if it's an annual or a perennial. So the winter might get it. I, I don't know. But we're going to put um, perennials in those. Um, and next year we're not having any gourds. I'm not letting anybody plant the containers next year. Um, it'll be on me. So I'm hoping to have all my herbs in there. Um, I still have to go out and I'm going to snip my basil, get all my leaves, and get my basil dried. And I hope to do that today, but it kind of rains, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> all right. Look at all these pennies. I know. So let's show them. Okay. Yes. Look at all those pennies. They're stacks of five, folks. That's a dollar pennies. Wow. A whole dollar. There's a hundred of them, so. There's a whole dollar. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so <laughs> anything else in the field? <coughs> cover your mouth. I'm choking over here. Well, cover your mouth. You're, you're, you're coughing on Stanley. 
You want to show us amazing? What? We have a hundred pennies. And not one penny roll. Get over it. Um, anyway, anything else in the field? There's not, not really. one penny roll in the field. Not really, I don't think. Um, I haven't done anything else really in the... Hey, we can use center. these to send flat stamp. Oh, we could. I'm not going to. We can stick them all in an envelope and count them out. I already have them anyway, and just chew right why don't you just there. go put them in a plastic bag and then you can give them to her and tell her there's a dollar there. There you go, an envelope. Um, all right, so what's after in the fields? Farmhouse. In the farmhouse. Okay, so what's been going on in the farmhouse? You went and worked for a neighbor, right? Yep. Okay. And what else? This is where you're supposed to be doing. This is your part, dude. He took all our minis. Yep. Done. Next. Uh -huh. Come on. What have you got? Come on. You took all our minis. It's time. No, time's in the garden. <laughs> what all is going on in the farmhouse? What have you... Okay, so, Willow Creek up. Homestead, their He's kids got an assignment, much like an assignment RJ had when he was a kid. He's folded up right now. And so, I'm going to wait till the tree we put a little popsicle stick on him, and that way we could kind of hold him. Now, he's been folded down so he could go, actually, I think his arms were folded so he could drive and all that kind of stuff. So, he kind of wants to flop over now, but that's okay. Right? He's Flat Stanley. And Flat Stanley is going home with a few friends, isn't he? Yep. And a story about his adventures. By the way, he folds up and holds on to his stick. Look. <laughs> Flat Stanley. That's how he fits in his envelope. Okay, so. Coop's going with him. Yep, Coop is going with him. The day is going with him. The day is going with him. Buttercup's going with him. Buttercup's going with him. And Holly's going with him. And Holly. So there is an adventure. We're not going to tell you about the adventure. Um, he has been sending selfies home, correct? Yep. Um, we sent selfies to uh, Willow Creek Homestead yesterday, right? Yep. The goat selfies. Stanley stole my phone and was just taking selfies everywhere. So I think we sent him one with the horse and one with the goat. And just, yeah, he was having fun. Um, but there's a reason that those are going home. And if you want to hear the story, um, written by yours truly, you can hear it later. We might, um, put it on YouTube. I'll just sit and read it and, cause it's like 10 pages long. It's, a, it's a, an actual story of his adventures here. It's a so. book. <laughs> it's not. Um, I'm down to the last paragraph or two and I've got to drop, bring it all together. And then Monday it gets mailed out to them. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Finish it today. Yes, I do. I will finish it today. The other thing that I have been working on. Um, That's irrelevant. Nobody cares. Okay. What have you been working on? You didn't even tell them what you were working on. Saddle. Nothing. You have to. I have what, not. What did you get and what are you working on? Nothing. At night. Come on. Nothing. I just want to show them when it's done. You have to tell them what it is, though. No, I do not. See? Yes, you do. I'm going to kick you in the shin in a minute. Mm -mm. It will hurt. Mm -hmm. Come on. You just keep the pole. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> okay, he's been working on a saddle. Refurbishing his saddle. Um, I can tell him where you got it. Mm -mm. I just want to show him when it's done. Okay, so he's working on stuff. He's just being a turd and not wanting to tell anybody. You that took my penny, so I have a right to be a turd. Anyway, we decorated for fall. You can't really see any decorations. There's some uh, garland up there. She stuck them all in this I did. Um, all right, so on the porch, I am making one of those. I'm Not making my. Even in an order. I mean, they're supposed to be all lined up. Son. I found a cute little um, easy beanie cap ponytail thing. It's, it's my first attempt at, at a ponytail hat. And they use a uh, scrunchie to go around. So, um, 
I'm doing it orange and black for OSU. And it will look like that. So, and it'll have... Isn't that what a headband's for? Do what? Like, isn't that why people wear headbands? To keep their hair out of their face? Yes and no. Oh. But anyway, and I'm simply doing it. These are acrylic. And, oh, they're going to love these. Because this is what's called mo mowing? Mo Look mo at me, Mom. This is synthetic mohair, I think. Isn't it? I'm going to. Look at me, so, yes, 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 you're funny. All right. It is Molon. It was from my grandmother's stash. It's machine washable. It's an acrylic. And um, then it I'm using. It feels really weird. It does. And then I'm using a TGNY. <laughs> yes, they had yarn. Um, orange. Well, so, and if you're from this era. It's ancient. Just don't bother asking what it is. Yeah. What so, a TGNY is. Um, it's something that happened a long, 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 long time ago. Briefly before dinosaurs. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I know. Anyway, so I'm making this hat, um, and it'll be a ponytail hat. And I think it's coming along cute. It's orange and black for OSU. Uh, or Syracuse. We can say Syracuse, too. Who cares about Syracuse? Oh my God! Don't let your uncle Beric, your grandmother, any of them hear that. Uncle Beric graduated from Syracuse University. Oh yeah. He lives a long ways away. I think I'm safe. Yeah. I grew up saying that someday I might go there. Oh, Syracuse Orangeman. Anyway, my Yankees showing. I better get off and run. All right. Anything else on the porch? Well, I think we might get a cat on the porch just because it's the only drive place. In the farmhouse. Might be a donkey on the back Anything porch. Anything else going on in the farmhouse? Just donkey on the back porch. Anything else going on in the farmhouse? Well, you're drinking some coffee. I'm being a smart Ellie. Mm, what's yeah. And it's about normal. All right, so we're going to get off here and. Thank you so much. No, we will talk to you later. RJ's going to go out and he's going to check the post that we set in the pasture. And who's got two? who's got two stalls to clean? Flat Stanley. <laughs> yeah, Flat Stanley's been being blamed a lot for things this year. This yeah, weekend. I know. He hasn't been doing every time I turn around. <laughs> every time I turn around, I was like, who did that? Flat Stanley. Yeah. Who didn't do his dishes last night after dinner? Flat Stanley. <laughs> Flat Stanley's getting blamed for all kinds of stuff. And he's sharing a room with RJ, so he's like, I don't know. Um, I think tonight. Flat Stanley and RJ are going to play some foosball. Right? Yep. He's been promising the whole time he's been here, and he hasn't done it yet. So he'll play foosball with Flat Stanley. All right. Anything else? Yep. We done? Don't forget to send the two penny rolls, please. <laughs> now, now, here's the thing is, if you are looking for something to um, send us, Christmas is coming up. We do take a lot of donations during Christmas. Um, we take, you know, birthday, RJ's we birthday, holiday, etc. Two penny rolls. No two penny rolls asked. and a million dollars in a beach house. Horse halters. It's the one thing we're falling short of this year. I've got and just cheap rope halters because the young Mustangs, um, which is something we haven't talked about in the farm in the um, barn stalls. All right, so we're going to back up and go back to in the barn stalls. What happened between Coop and Star? They got in a fight. They did. They got in a fight, and Coop got hurt, correct? Yep. She's not lame, is she? No. She, she just has a bump. knot. Um, what's the difference between a domestic horse and a Mustang? They're not food aggressive, really. Okay. Domestic horse has never been food aggressive, but, well, they can be if they're starved. Right. But what's the difference in how Star handled what it is is we put them two in a stall to catch them, and there was a feed trough there. There was no feed in it. We're not that naive or stupid. Um, Coop went up underneath the shelter and started nosing to see if there was food in there while RJ went and got halters and all that. They were contained in a pen, and Star was there. And Star 
realized she went to the feed trough, thought there was something in there, and she got in there. And then Star did a few well-planted kicks because she thought there was food there and she was fighting for her meal, she thought, and she knocked Coop down. Um, number one, Mustangs are stronger and stouter, correct? Yep. So she was able to get Coop down. One well-planted uh, kick on her shoulder. Um, not anything. She has a, a not, you know, just a big bruise and stuff. Um, it will go down. It's fine. Um, it's not in the muscle or anything. It's just a bruise. Uh, but Mustangs don't stop either. So RJ, I'm not fast at climbing fences. So by the time I got around and was hollering, RJ had already jumped over and got Star out of there. Um, their emotions. Moose, come on. Dogs. Go get him out of that thing. He's in there playing in the pig stall in the pig pen inside and he's just making a ruckus and he likes to try and dig on the bottom of the floor there's no dirt or anything I don't know what the deal is just close it up but anyway so star got cooped down and it's not anything that star, star it's not horrible it's just the difference between a domestic horse has never had to fight for their lives and a wild mustang who has to um, so, yeah, we've had them bust a few halters um, when we get them tied up. She did calm right down. Star realized she did something wrong, and she's just like, oh, you know, it, it was just a fight or flight reaction type thing. It was just her instinct. So, um, she didn't intentionally mean to, to hurt Coop. But when we tie Star up or Kavayu up, they when they pull back they snap them like that so um it's getting better but that's the one thing that we're short this year so um and there always seems to be one thing but just cheap rope halters because if you put very much money into the nylon banded ones it hurts the horse um they don't give as much as the rope ones correct correct so we want cheap if anybody out there has any to donate we will take them um, you can mail them to our regular address that you can find at farmontheprairie.com, right? Yep. Or it's HC. Well, I think it'll 61. be, I think box it shows 16. up in the description box below. I have that all pre-programmed now. Somebody showed me how. Don't get excited, guys. And so, um, I think our address shows up in the description box below. But if you do have <laughs> extra rope halters used, it's great, too. So, if you've got some in the barn that you aren't using anymore, send them our way. Um... Anything else? Look, I Not didn't really. put the right lead on it. <laughs> He's playing with the zip drive. All right, we're done. We're out of here, and we will talk to y'all later. See you next time. We're going to get Don't back to work. Don't forget my penny rolls, please.